I'm Allie at Discovery Museum, and lately I've been thinking about sunlight and all the different things that sunlight can do. Sunlight can reflect, sunlight can refract and make rainbows, and you can also catch sunlight and make different colors. So I thought I would try an experiment to make a sun catcher today. Here I've got my plastic where I've drawn with my Sharpie a design. And then for my sun catcher paint, I've mixed clear glue and food coloring. And I just mix that all up here in my little paint tray, but you could use a cup or you could use a um, paper plate to mix this all together. What that does is create a really nice transparent color that sunlight can go through and it'll stop some of the sunlight, but the colors, the colored parts of the sunlight will go through. And then all I'm gonna do is get some paint brushes, use my sunlight paint, and I'm gonna fill in the design that I made. There we go. And here's one that I did just a little bit ago. And I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera and we'll see if the sunlight that passes through is just one color. What color do you see? Pretty neat, huh? Using sun catcher paint is just one way that you can make a sun catcher, but you might be able to find some things around the house that you could use to make a sun catcher in a different kind of way. Feel free to get creative. I wonder all the things that you could find around your house that would catch some sunlight, maybe even reflect it, like a mirror or refract it into a rainbow. If you make a sun catcher at your house, I'd love to see it. So you can post some photos for us on our Facebook page.